linear thermal expansion. We know that when matter is heated, it expands, and when cooled, it contracts. Expansion results, and this is greater for liquids than for solids. Gases expand even more. The linear length expansion of solids is small, and for the effect to be noted, the solid must be long, and or the temperature change must be large. Pay attention in the figure below. This is the initial length of the metal rod. And it is at an initial temperature as well. When the metal rod is heated, atoms vibrate more and push neighboring atoms. This neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor push results in a slightly longer distance on average between neighbors and adds a larger size for the whole metal rod. The higher the temperature, the higher the vibration. This is the expansion or change in length. This is the change in temperature. The expansion can be calculated if all the following are known. The original length of the rod. The change in temperature it will experience. The linear expansivity of the material to be used. Expansion is initial length times linear expansivity times temperature rise. Mathematically, this can be written as The linear expansivity of a material is found by experiment. Linear expansivity is the increase of one meter of a material in size for a one degree Celsius rise in temperature. For example, for steel, it is 0 0.000012 per degree Celsius. This means that one meter will become 1.000012 meter for a temperature rise of 1 degree Celsius. Let's see how it works. Take the values even in the question. Take the formula and substitute the values. When engineers designed this bridge in the last century, they certainly took this expansion into account. Superficial area thermal expansion. Superficial expansion is the increase in surface area of the solid on heating. Pay attention. Area increases because both length and width increase.
expansion is initial area times 2 times linear expansivity times temperature rise. Length and width increase. Let's see how it works. Let's calculate the initial area. Take the values given in the question and substitute in the formula for both sheets. Volume also increases because all three dimensions increase. Pay attention. Volume increases because length, width, and height increase. This is the formula. 3 times linear expansivity coefficient because the volume increase in length, width and height. Let's see how it works. Take the values given in the question and substitute into the formula. You should know the unusual expansion of water. In general, when a body is heated, it expands and when cooled, it contracts. But the water has an unusual expansion between 4 and 0 degrees Celsius. As water is cooled, 
to 4 degrees Celsius, it contracts, as we would expect. However, between 4 and 0 degrees Celsius, it expands. So the maximum contraction of water occurs at 4 degrees Celsius. And it is at this temperature that water has maximum density. The volume expansion of water between 4 and 0 degrees Celsius is due to the breaking up of the groups that water's molecules form above 4 degrees Celsius. The new arrangement requires a large volume and cancels out the contraction due to the fall in temperature. Take a look in this figure. The peculiar expansion of water has an important bearing on the preservation of aquatic life during very cold weather and explains why fish survive in a frozen lake. As the temperature of a lake falls, the water at the top cools first, it contracts, becomes denser and sinks to the bottom. Warmer less dense water rises to the surface to be cooled. This creates convection currents. When all the water is at 4 degrees Celsius, the circulation stops. If the temperature of the surface water falls below 4 degrees Celsius, it becomes less dense and remains at the top, eventually forming a layer of ice at 0 degrees Celsius. Take a look at the figure. 